Hey guys, my name is Scobie and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to install a Philips TV remote control on your iPhone. This will allow you to control your TV from a distance using your phone, which is a super nice thing and I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do it. So the first thing we're going to need to do is open up our app store. You can do this by clicking the shortcut on your home screen or you can simply click the search button here, search for app and then we're going to be opening up our app store. Once you're here, we're going to be clicking the search button on the bottom right, and we're going to be searching for Philips Smart TV. If we click this open, we will have a couple of options. For this video, we're going to be specifically looking for the Philips Smart TV app right here. You're simply going to be downloading this. Don't worry, it is 100% free, so there's no need to pay for anything in this video. Once it's downloaded, we're going to be clicking open, and then we're going to be opening up our application. You will need to allow local access to other devices on your network, so it can actually speak to and find other TVs. Once we get to this connection page here, I'm simply going to be clicking the back arrow on the top left, and I'm going to be clicking the X button here. From this point, there are a couple of things to keep in mind. One, you will need to be on the same network as your TV device. So this will not work if you're on your own data network. You do need to be on the same Wi-Fi network as your actual Philips Smart TV. Otherwise, you will not be able to connect to it remotely via this. You will also need to make sure your TV is on because you will need to get an authentication code to fully use your phone and the TV together. So if you want to search for TVs on your local network, we can click settings. We can go to connection and here we can see a list of all TVs if they were already showing up. Otherwise, you will need to click the find TV button. And then here you have a couple of options, network scan, IP address or QR code. So it is possible if you know the IP address, you can do it automatically. The QR code I have never done, so I'm not quite sure how that one works. However, the local network scan always works for me. So again, as mentioned, you just need to make sure you're on the same network as the TV. And you might need to wait a few seconds for this to actually be able to find the TV you're looking for. Now, depending on if you have already renamed the TV on your local network, it can have a random name with numbers and letters. Otherwise, in my case, I've already renamed my TV to TV. Once your TV shows up on this list, we're then going to be clicking it. And when we click this open, we will see on our TV, it does give a small pop-up, authentication required. Enter this code on the Smart TV app. This app you will then have to enter on your phone, so you will have to wait a couple seconds for the pop-up to show up. But once it shows up, you will then be able to enter your pairing code on screen. You can then click OK, and then finally it will show your TV remote is connected. From this point, you can then open the remote control option on your phone, and you can see then you'll have this Philips TV interface. From this point, you can actually click and scroll around here, and you can see it actually works for my TV. And the cool thing is you can actually power your TV on and off fully from this also, as long as you don't plug out your TV, of course. However, it does stay connected to your local network, so you can easily turn it on and off here. You have your volume controls, your input sources, and a bunch of other options. So you can really do pretty much anything you could with your normal TV remote with this, including ambilight settings and anything else. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to use your iPhone as a TV remote for your Philips Smart TV. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. Until next time, guys, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.